Okay, I'm going to do a very quick tutorial about how to take your sequences from Avid to After Effects uh, using the AAF protocol. So basically, I have a sequence here that has some compositing going on, some bad comps that um, with a moving camera, this clearly is going to need a, a 3D track because of the motion in the foreground footage, and then a shot that I'm just going to skip over. So essentially, uh, I'm going to show you a couple things to organize your workflow here, one of which is timeline local clip color. And so uh, when you look on your clip color hamburger settings down there, there's a thing called timeline local. You have to have this checked in order for this to work. So go in and check that first, and then you can also check source color if you want. So source color, you may know, is just to take uh, your clips and then to make them a particular color, that color shows up in your timeline. This feature has been there for a long time. But let me show you another level. So you're going to uh, select these shots and then come down to set a local clip color and I'm going to make them a different color. And as you can see it overrides the original color. So I now have these shots, they're colored green, and that helps me stay organized in my timeline. So if I have 30 shots in a timeline that I want to export, I can make them all the same color and this just makes it simpler for me. Uh, it's not as impressive to just do it with four, but I'm going to show you that anyway. So basically, I'm going to come back into overwrite mode. I'm going to select one of them and I'm going to come down and say select with the same local clip color and it's going to select all those and then just below that is create sequence based on selection. I'm going to throw that in my AAF spin and I'm going to call this um, AF demo um, V1. Okay, and then let's take a look at that sequence real quick. That is just the shots that I wanted, nothing else. The middle shot is not included. They're all there. So I'm going to go ahead and export this. We're ready to go composite. Output to file. And I've selected a folder with AAFs in it. Under Options, you select AAF, and then in this case, I'm just going to highlight AAF Edit Protocol, include all tracks. Here you have some options to copy the media, consolidate the media, video mix down. In our case, we're going to link to the media because I have the same, the media for my Avid project is on my local drive, and I'm going to use it to do my rough compositing in After Effects. So I'm going to say Link To, and After Effects will read that media. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. It just takes a second and then over in After Effects instead of double clicking or hit, hitting import to bring in a file I'm going to actually go down to import file pro import and then coming to my AAFs folder v1 there are settings here you basically just need to make sure that connect After Effects directly to Avid Media Files is checked and I'm going to do that boom okay so it's giving me an error message that says it doesn't understand all the effects in the sequence, and that's okay. So we're going to open the sequence, and as you see, uh, I have just the shots that were in that timeline, and I do have some things going on effects-wise here, and I can show you how they um, are working. Let me just make this make more sense. Okay, so here the shot has moved a little bit and you can go to position and see that it's kind of off its original position here because I repositioned the shot in Media Composer and I have a crop here and the crop that I made in Media Composer with the 3D Warp tool is actually a mask now and so if you do some more serious cropping or some scaling that you really want to keep uh, the nice thing is that After Effects will respect that and uh, some of these effects do come in. You can find lists of the effects that come in uh, that will transfer online and that can be pretty handy. Okay, and the other thing I just want to show is that when this comes in, here are my clips themselves, the MXF media. Here's a bunch of metadata that you can add. You know, you can come here and get, uh, get some more columns going, uh, frame rate, you know, media start. So now I have the time code where the shots are starting and then uh, the other things to know about here are that the um, the time code in your timeline 
uh, in your comp here is going to be the same as what's in your timeline. So if I were to come here and export this, I would have matching time code to my sequence when I export the shot. So that's pretty nice because once the comp is done, you can drop it right back on time on top of your original clip in the Avid. And the other thing too, as you can see here, is that there's handles. Basically, anything that exists in the shot in the media in, in uh, uh, media composer, you have access to here. So because we're referencing the original master files on my media files drive, um, you have all this. And so if there is a change in your edit and you do want to make a trim or an adjustment, you have all that data here. So this is a very handy way to go. Uh, AAF export, bring it in, do your compositing, export back to media composer as a quick time. Uh, cut back into your sequence and you're good to go. Hope this is helpful.